Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to the Citizen channel. Yes, we have a little tribute today. Um, sadly, we have a, an ex-City player who was uh, at City for 10 seasons, a little bit before my time. Yes, I, I know I'm old, but uh, even a little bit before my time. So uh, the gentleman was called Ron Phoenix, who was at uh, City between 1950 and 1960 so in ways a little tribute today just had a quick look back of the of his, his career at city and what what he got up to so please share this with me he sadly passed away on the 9th of march 2021 so i'll put this little little video together uh, as a small tribute uh, to the player uh, yeah, Ronald James Phoenix, that was his uh, christen, his born name, his uh, christened name, uh, was born in Stratford on the 30th of June 1929. Came from a footballing family, uh, one brother Eric, uh, played for Nutsford, Hastings United, Gillingham and Exeter, there you go, while another brother Jack was a pre-World War II amateur with uh, Manchester United. In fact, before joining City in 1949-50, Ron had been a member of uh, Matt Busby's youth set-up at Manchester United in 1949 and he made his City Reserve team debut as an amateur on Boxing Day 1949. So I just got in there before 1950. Uh, that was at home to Sunderland. He signed professionally for City on the 11th of March 1950. At the time of his uh, league debut, the 26th of January 1952, a little while later, yeah, I mean, we didn't just we didn't just throw him into the teams, and they had to they had to earn their way into the first team. They had to play for the A teams and the reserves, etc., before they got a chance at the first team. Uh, yeah, he was playing an inside forward, and he actually wore the number 10 shirt for his league debut on the 26th of January 1952, uh, away at Highbury against Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal were not a bad team at the time. They actually finished uh, third that season to uh, yeah, the Champions United. Uh, so he made his debut against Arsenal at Highbury in a 2-2 draw. And more importantly, uh, he actually scored one of City's goals and the other goal scorer was Johnny Hart. So on his debut, I mean, it's very, you know, that's a, a great thing in itself, isn't it, to score on your debut? But uh, yeah, he actually scored in a 2-2 draw at Highbury against Arsenal in front of a crowd of 54,527. And um, we actually played quite soon after a prestigious friendly at Main Road against River Plate FC, of course, from South America. And he did keep his place for this and played at wing half again. And he was actually noted in one of the, the match day programmes uh, following this game that uh, he'd made two great displays against Arsenal and River River Plate. Uh, sadly, we lost the game to River Plate 4-3, but I believe it was a very good game for the people that were there. But uh, that was February the 1st, 1952, we played against River Plate. His first full home league debut was on the 9th of February and that was a 0-0 a nil -nil thriller, a 0-0 nil -nil draw with uh, Blackpool. Uh, he would actually play in all the last 14 league games that season, wearing mainly the number 6 shirt. I think the last game of the season he wore he was back at number 10, but he, he mainly wore the number 6 shirt. Uh, he didn't have a great season, we finished in 15th, but uh, yeah, he was... Uh, it was sort of a mainstay for that last sort of uh, quarter of the season. Uh, the next season, he was playing five games only in October and November 52-53, uh, but didn't make another first-team appearance until Valentine's Day, the 14th of February 1953. And again, he scored again. He scored a, a, in a 2-1 win over Newcastle at Main Road, but uh, sadly, he actually broke his leg in this match. And uh, this injury, I mean, weren't those those days broken legs could be quite serious. Obviously, I mean, they're serious now, but at least we can we can fix them quite quickly. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it did sideline him for a bit uh, for a long time uh, until the following season, and then then he only sort of was playing mainly a team games to try and get him back up to some sort of match fit fitness. Uh, he wouldn't appear back on the first team sheet for more than two seasons and made his comeback appearance in a 3-3 draw at Huddersfield uh, early in the 1955-56 season there uh, the 17th of September 1955 of course which was a FA Cup winning season obviously he didn't feature in that unfortunately but he'd only make another further five appearances that, that season in the 1955-56 in 56-57 he would play in eight of the last nine league games uh, but only two more in 57 and 58 
his most most successful run, perhaps obviously getting back from the same. It wasn't easy coming back from a broken leg in those days. His most most successful run of first team appearances came in the latter half of the 1958-59 season where he played 18 times between the end of December and the middle of April. And this included uh, two FA Cup, his only two FA Cup appearances, who were both against Grimsby, uh, obviously, who shocked City by actually knocking us out at Main Road in a replay. Uh, we'd drawn at uh, Grimsby's ground. Uh, they knocked us out, unfortunately, at that Main Road, 2-1. So, uh, <laughs> uh, not the greatest thing, but that was, his, that was his two FA Cup games, both against Grimsby. Uh, sadly, he had a, a family tragedy. In 1959, he actually lost two children uh, through illness um, that season. And he actually made his final appearance for City at Main Road on Halloween, believe it or not. 31st of October 1959. Uh, and he, uh, yours truly was actually uh, just been, was about four or five months old by then as well. Uh, so he actually made his appearance. Final appearance at Main Road, 31st of October, in a 2-1 defeat by Tottenham Hotspur in front of a crowd of 45,506. So he played in front of some big crowds. Uh, so at City, he'd made 53 league appearances and scored the two goals and two FA Cup appearances. We won't talk about them too much. Uh, and as far as playing for the first team, he was never booked or sent off for Manchester City. He also played 190 appearances in the reserves. And of course, he played for the A team, etc. And he actually scored 15 goals for the reserves as well. So he didn't do too bad. Uh, Ron later moved on to Rochdale and Altrincham played there. Sadly, uh, Ron Phoenix died on the 9th of March 2021 from vascular dementia. Um, and, uh, thanks for joining me for this little tribute to him. Of course, my thoughts, and I'm, of course, I'm sure I speak for all City fans, are with Ron's family at this, uh, thoughts with Ron's family and friends at this time. And I just hope this little tribute is just something Something that a nice little memory of uh, Ron Phoenix, who uh, was with City for, from 1950 to 60. Uh, but Ron Phoenix, 30th of June 1929 to the 9th of March 2021. Rest in peace. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.